It's 88 Rising Radio, and I am so, oh. so, so excited to introduce yeah. our guests in the house today. We have New Jeans. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> First of all, I'd like to say congratulations. You, you guys have just, you know, skyrocketed. It's been like a <sighs> blown up so quickly. And so I think it's important for everyone listening right now who might not know who New Jeans are or is. Would you be able to introduce yourselves one by one? Yes, of course. Hi, everyone. My name is Honey. Hello, I'm New Jeans Herring. Hi, I'm New Jeans Danielle. Hello everyone, I'm Minji. Hello everyone, I'm Hayne. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Thank hello, you for hello. that. Uh, so your name is uh, a pun on the comfortable and timeless aspects of jeans. And then yes, jeans yes. is in DNA um, and implying a new era and a new icon. Yes, right. exactly. So, oh. when I wanted to ask the question, when you debuted, what was what were you most excited for, and what were the things you were most worried about? Mm. Oh well, yeah, you're exactly right. The word is like is the play on words that conveys a group message. When okay, so when we debuted, um, we were most excited, I guess, for our music. To be um, yeah, to be and how it would be perceived. Mm. And um, the five of us worked tirelessly on the first EP <laughs> and we poured our heart and soul into it, really. Um, I think it was a mixture of mm -hmm. both excitement yeah. and worry. But for most of the part, we were really happy with the result and all the love and support. So thank you so much. Cool, cool, cool. No, all good. good. No, it's, and I think it's important to say, like, we're all human and we all worry about how things will go. And, um, yeah, you know, I don't yeah. think obviously there's anything to worry about now that you've, you've, yeah. come, you've debuted. Um, bunnies. We're going to, I'm sure they're going to be Bunny, mentioned yeah. a little bit. So I thought it was, like, only fair to our audience for you to tell them about bunnies. Oh, sure. So basically... We are, we're bunnies. We're bunnies. And yeah. our fans are our friends. Yeah. So we assume that our fans are also bunnies. We're all bunnies. Yes. <laughs> so we're two of the bunnies. We're all bunnies. Hopefully. Bunnies, yeah. like Toki universe. Uh, yeah. Great. Hopefully I'm a bunny as well then. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh. yes. Oh, hello, bunnies. Hello, hello. So are your, I guess, are your parents, are your parents bunnies? And how did they react to when they found out you were going to be in New Jeans? Oh. My parents were so happy because they knew how much I wanted to debut. They were very supportive of my choice yeah. from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, my mom actually um she uh she like um made me do a lot of extracurricular with my younger sister and we did a lot of dancing and singing and she also uh, taught me and my sister how to sing. So I think once we debuted um not just my parents, I think all of our parents, just everyone that we yeah. knew, were very thrilled to see us finally like like present music and more like perform and everything. So I think it was just a really good like experience yeah. for yeah. everyone. Yeah. Shout out to parents. I believe they're bunnies. Yeah, yeah. shout out to <laughs> mom yeah. and dad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's one of the things we don't, you know, we don't hear much about them, but you know, they, you know, without yeah. them, you know, we wouldn't be here, obviously. Um, yeah. Exactly. So. Uh, let's talk a little bit about your first EP. Ooh, Hype Boy yeah. is obviously everyone's favorite, including mine. Um, <laughs> yes. I heard, I heard, Danielle, that you wrote some lyrics for Attention, and Honey, you wrote some lyrics for Hype Boy. Do you remember what yeah. lyrics you wrote and what helped you come up with those lyrics? Oh, okay. Well, well, since I was very little, I've always been interested in like writing lyrics and composition. And... I think that's how the lyrics for Attention came to me because since it was our first EP, mm. our CEO, Vinny Zinnim, who also like led the whole creative process, encouraged us to participate in the album making. Yeah. And it was very, it was like to all of us, a very valuable opportunity. And well, like 
to express our creativity mm. and definite it was like all such a great learning experience as well so so I think yeah we all learned so much and yeah just yeah. Yeah. yeah and through this experience mm. it was yeah it was all very good yeah <laughs> that's amazing yeah yeah when I first um first heard hype boy I think the first thing that came to my mind is at the start there's like a ticking sound yeah. Oh, yeah. it sounds like a mm -hmm. clock ticking mm -hmm. so there's like you know there's a scene in Alice in Wonderland where she's she, Alice falls into the rabbit hole and like all the objects around her like moving in slow motion and then there's like a emphasis on the clock and everything I think um <clears throat> that popped into my mind first so like I wanted to kind of express that um like that feeling of falling into something without like it being on purpose so in Korean the lyrics bad job body in daydream but when it gets translated to English it's got me chasing a daydream like falling into a daydream gotcha. so oh, I, love I love it yeah, <laughs> yeah. thank it's you so great. it's my favorite part <laughs> it's so great to to be involved in the, the process of it all I think that you yeah it really was yeah it gives you more ownership over it and that you, you know it's your your music and it's it's beautiful um so I read about the phoning app. Oh, and this, yes. Um, Minji, it was we heard that you were, you know, communicating with fans and and mm -hmm. you know making sure everyone was all good. And we love we, we love the idea of the you're having your own app, which is pretty wild to me. Um, could you tell our yes. listeners about it? Why is it special to you guys to have an app? Uh, I think, is it a space where we can communicate more closely with our friends, mm. our fans? Yes. <laughs> there is a feeling of becoming more and more one with the fans, just like sending message and sharing photos with friends. Mm. Yeah. That's what I'm really trying to do with yeah. phoning. Yeah. 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 Like you almost said when you were trying to say fans, you almost said A friends. friends. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, but that's well, exactly that's the right. That's friends. the whole point of it because like we want to feel as close and connected as possible to our fans, our bunnies. So, <laughs> so through an app like phoning is really is it's just it's so much fun. I think it's really yeah. accessible it's, as it's well. It's like talking to a best friend and. Um, yeah, I hope they feel more connected with us. I think they do. Yeah, it's such they. a great idea. And uh, mm, it's, it you know, it takes a new group like New Jeans to do something like that, which I think is really, really creative. Mm -hmm. Late yeah. last year, you released Ditto, and today you dropped OMG. Congratulations. Yeah. Woo. 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 Can you tell me about the singles, OMG, Ditto, and uh, how New Jeans has evolved from your first EP? So like basically our like first EP is like very much on like um those like very like instantaneous attraction like you know like first love like all the sparks and like the well, like butterflies in like your stomach and everything and then um in our EP that we dropped today it's like just a little bit more like deeper into that emotion yes. like it's mutual deeper. understanding and connection more with emotional. people so I love that so much. Really OMG. Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, please go on. Well, I feel like we have a really deep emotional connection to our to our new singles, a mm. uh, new EP, because um, even when we heard like Ditto and OMG for the first time, we well we got chills, oh, obviously, yeah. <gasps> and um, we had like lots of, I guess like images and imagery that we got from just listening to it and so for like ditto we got the feeling of someone like holding us tight and like giving us a big like hug concert. and like with omg we all have like while after we debuted we've been like going on stages as well and going through many new experiences and that's just like OMG. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so <laughs> I think yeah, I hope that um all of the fans have a deep connection with our songs as much mm. as we do because yes. we really love our new songs. Yeah. Yeah. 
that's so exciting and you, and you, you you never know how the fans are going to react to these things and and how no. yeah <laughs> actually they'll have a life of their own perhaps so you know there might be some omg moments for you as well uh tell us tell me about the music video are there you know do you, the concepts or any favorite parts Tito, music video it's going to be millions and millions of eyeballs oh. straight away. Oh. Wow. Wow. That's exciting concept. We hope. Oh, I, I, I don't worry about that. I don't hope I know. <laughs> uh, Thank you. Tell us what uh, the, you hope the bunnies will enjoy with these songs. So our debut album was in summer. Mm-hmm. And um, just to spice things up a bit, we are our first like comeback is in winter, which is the opposite of summer. So I think the something as um, a bunny, as our fan, something I think they would really enjoy is just seeing a new um, like side of us, like si- a new side of our performance mm-hmm, and songs yes. and concepts. And um, with Ditto and OMG, I think we, we I think we talk about it a lot, but really, Ditto is really a comforting song. Like it can't be explained. Yeah. You just have to listen to it, <laughs> like how warm that song is. Yeah. And then OMG is very much a very like, yeah. it's very bright and like refreshing. It's really like, like kind of like a good way to start the new year, mm. end yeah. the year, start a new it's year. Like, it's like a welcome to yeah. the new year. It's very it's welcoming. Like, wow. So, so, yeah. <laughs> it, um, there's definitely a freshness to your sound and, and your energy in, in the group, which I think is really great. Uh, I'd love to know a little bit about you guys as well get to know you a little bit uh, when you're not training sure, or sure. or speaking to people like me what what do, what do you do do you do you watch <laughs> do you watch youtube do you have favorite channels do you play games what's what's life like well personally i try and make like the most out of my time <laughs> if i get time off and um yeah and if i'm able to like spend time out of like the Suxo and the training center as well. I'm always looking for like new exciting things and places to visit. Um, I personally like outdoors oh, and yeah. nature a lot. Therefore, like going on a bike ride along the river or something is like really kind of my thing. So <laughs> yeah, um, I'm like opposite person with Danielle. <laughs> like, I usually, I usually, read a book or writing a diary and I love to play a game but I think I'm not really good at it because one time I was starting new games and I, I I introduced to her but next day was she was yeah what was it like <laughs> more her lever was more <laughs> over than me <laughs> so I just yeah uh, I'm not good at games so but I love it game I still love it <laughs> game is fun though yeah, yeah. yeah. That's great. Um, I like uh, that you have, you know, different different ways to in, in, enjoy yourself. <laughs> yeah. Very different, and uh, yes. we're all very different. Um, <laughs> tell me as well at Sirius XM, which is the you know the the station, the channel that we're on on Eighty Eight Rising Radio. We have everyone coming in from Taylor Swift to Ed Sheeran. <gasps> you know, everyone oh comes yeah. through our studios. <gasps> of the kind of um, big artists like that, are, are there any that? you know, are your favorites or that are on your playlist that you like listening to? Like, um, regarding like playlists and artists, I think because um, as a group, we share a lot of music with each other. Mm. So yeah. even though our tastes are all very different, there are a few songs and artists that, um, that we all like, just like together as a group. Jam so yeah. yeah, just jam together. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. I think in my playlist, mm. I really like, um, really like band band mm. sound like the authentic sound of instruments mm. so um five seconds of summer <gasps> has been in my playlist for a good good long <laughs> few years now <laughs> and then um i really love r&b so like bazzy and um scissor and her like those type of Amazing. artists 
Yeah. <laughs> wow, very diverse. Um, oh, very diverse. <laughs> that's really great, and I love that you share all that music with one another. Uh, I I wanted to touch on the. Um, you did this incredible performance, which I saw online at um, the Konkuk U University Festival. Um, I wanted to know about if you weren't superstars like you are already, what what would you <laughs> what would you study at university? Mm. Wow, maybe I think another second language, yeah. like English or I don't know. But because when I was young, I was quite interesting about. Like, it's still same meaning, but sounds, when we say it, it, sound, it sounds different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when I was young, it was really interesting. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason I was learning English really hard. So if I didn't debut as a New Jeans, I, will, I was going to choose languages. languages. Yeah. She's so good at it, though. Wow. No, yeah, I, st is. I learned mm -hmm. a lot like two members mm. still i have to learn <laughs> to <fight. laughs> <It's all her. laughs> man if okay if i didn't debut as new jeans and then and went to university i think um before i came to korea i was really interested in science and medical and um if i was not to go if like i wasn't feeling that area of like um study and like schooling I think I would go to maybe like filmography, like mm. movies and like um, scripting because I think just like like how movies film things, like with all the lighting and the yes. color aspects, and like I find that really interesting. So I think I'd probably study out of those two. <laughs> oh. wow. wow! It suits you. It suits yes. me. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I love that. I love that so much. I love learning things like that about you guys. I know we could go with everyone, but I, I guess we've got I've got a few more questions to get through. So thank you for those. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. So sure, sure. I love that uh, two of you have Australian backgrounds. Honey, uh, you mm -hmm. was born in Melbourne. <laughs> Danielle has a dad who is Australian. <laughs> Obviously, as an Australian yeah. myself, I'm quite proud uh, of Aussies in the uh, in the group. So. Yeah. Um, Obviously, so <laughs> so. Do you feel like the other members have picked up some of your accents, and have they picked up any phrases? And yeah. Um. Honestly, I learned, I learned English, in Korea. So I learned English as an American accent. Uh -huh. But I I went Canada for a few months, so it changed it to Canadian accent. But I met these two girls. Aussie girls. <laughs> so it changed hey, to. Really I, honestly, it girls. mixed a lot. Yeah, it has. But like, yeah, I think um, cause um, a lot of people like uh, I feel like if um, like for example, our fans are bun bunnies, they will probably see a lot of videos of us. But we actually speak in English quite a lot. Yeah. Very naturally, it. like it just comes Me out. Too. I didn't and, know. Like I'll throw it, and then the girls will just catch it, and then they'll <laughs> reply back in English, and then it becomes like a tiki taka type of situation but they've definitely taken our Aussie accents which I'm very proud of. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of fun and I think a lot of people on the internet have, have a lot of fun with it too because it's still a new accent yeah. to a lot of people. Um, yeah. So uh, besides you know an international fans being fan of fans of yours many idol groups are fans of yours as well we've seen the hype boy challenge with various idols <gasps> taking part. Uh -huh. how, how does it feel? How does it feel to, to hear about or see things like that of fans of some, some of your idols, you know? Oh, 저는 선배님들이 어 이렇게 저희 노래 되게 뭔가 춤을 춰 주시고 아니면 또 뭔가 커버 같은 커버를 하시거나 뭔가 듣거나 하시는 게 너무 신기하고 항상 너무 감사했던 것 같아요. 네, 뭔가 이런 경험은 또 처음이니까 처음 지금도 물론 그렇지만 처음에도 처음에는 더 신기했거든요. 진짜 정말 감사한 것 같아요. 음, 많은 맞아요. 분들이 다 들어주셔서. The really weird thing is they're our seniors, so like we've I've like while training and everything, we've watched all of our seniors stages and perform so we know their yeah. songs it's just weird yeah. to know that they know our songs yeah. and then like um it but it was just really fun watching um all of the 
like just people who participate in the hype boy challenge and not even just hype boy challenge like yes we um we saw a lot of covers of like our songs as well like acoustic versions or like they changed it to another version and then a lot of dance covers like so when we would first do, when they were like popping up on um social media stuff we sent we sent them all uh, to our group chat yeah. so our group chat I was just like, filled yeah. with links i really love <laughs> high boy disco version oh that's Ooh. so good so cool. that's so good that's amazing yeah. and i think you're only gonna have more and more fans like that and i will finish there and i'd like to say thank you so much new jeans for speaking to idiot rising radio for everyone omg is out now go listen it's going to be another breath of fresh air Ooh. but new Ooh. jeans thank you so much and uh, all the best to you thank you so much for thank having you. us yeah. so much. thank you thank you so much thank you for having us